Hey, this is the LaRose Bros. And today, we're here at Edmunds Pier to do some fishing. Hey look, there's a sea lion over there. Do you see it? There's a sea lion right over there, dipping its head up and down out of the water. Way out there in the water. Oh, oh, there it is. Whoa. That's the rarer kind. The rarer kind? Well, that's nice. Glad we saw it. I set up for um, bottom fishing. I just cast out, reeled in slack, and then set it down. And then when the tip starts moving, that's when I start, that's when I hold it. And then when I feel the boom go down, then you set the hook and just reel it in. So I'm just waiting for a fish to bite here. Um, I might get a rockfish um, or a ratfish. I might even get a flounder if I'm lucky. Uh, but yeah, those are like the three main things that I might get. Are you set up with bottom fishing too? Yep, we're using squid uh, as bait that we caught uh, a few weeks ago. And uh, Timothy, you have a sandworm as well. On you. Yeah, I have a uh, sandworm and sabiki, um, part of a sabiki rig on there too. And then they both have a little bit of squid on their hooks just for smell, because like fish, love squid super smelly tracks the fish and it's worked very well so squid is like the first like like one of the most important things that you might need when bottom fishing there's a cormorant over there i don't know if you can see it but it had a fish in its mouth my guess would be a shiner but they might not be way out there but cormorants like to eat small fish and we've seen them in underwater videos that we've made We've seen them um, catching fish and swimming around down there on our footage. They're pretty cool creatures. They're kind of like ducks or swans, I guess. It was kind of cool to see that cormorant eating the fish that it had. No bites yet, except Silas. I think he got a bite, but I haven't, so I'm just waiting. You got something? We'll keep reeling. Let's see what it is. Oh, sculpin, teeny tiny little sculpin. Really small. So it looks like a sculpin. Little, little scoping. There it goes. Well, scopings are obviously not the best fish to catch around here, but I mean, if we don't. Uh, there's, a, uh, there's a ton of species of scopings. They're also known as bullheads. Uh, Most scopings around here are just really, really small. Yeah, but there are a few big ones, and some of the species can be big. They're mostly just really small though. Sculpins, um, especially like in, like on piers and stuff, just wherever, mostly are just really small. They're pretty easy to catch, but we weren't even going for them because they're not worth to go for, but. Some of them like the Cabazon and the Great Sculpin are actually pretty good eating. And other than that, not really that great of a fish at all. Also, a lot of them are cool to catch too, and a lot of people um, like eating them, like you can fry them up. Yeah, they look cool, and they're, like, they could be good to eat, but overall, sculpin's just, like, I would rather catch a lot of things than a sculpin. I just reeled it in, gonna recast, and it looks like 
whatever was biting barely missed the hook where my sandworm was. It was like five times its length. And then I got this thing up here too. But there's no more squid on it, so I think I'm gonna put some squid on the top one. But I wouldn't worry about the bottom one anymore. You got something? Let's see if he got anything. Nothing. Caught some bait. Shiner. I'm trying to fish for Shiner, but I won't have it. Why? I had a bite just now. I don't think it's on there anymore. I don't use this pole very often, so I'm not really used to it, so I can't really tell if there's something on it right now. Yeah, nothing. this little green worm and I might catch a bean cod or a rockfish if they're gonna be active so I'm gonna just cast out and dig in and see what I can get got a bite you feel it? Anything <laughs> except the sculpin. Look at that 